Hi everybody, Jesse here from jessiebanks.com and welcome back to another video. Long time no see. Um, I just got a little haul for you guys today so I'm going to show you a couple things I picked up on Black Friday when I was up in Saskatoon. I filmed this once, the card was no good, I'm filming it again, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I got my computer back. Um, if you follow me on like Facebook or Instagram or things, I think I posted about it in most places. I dropped my laptop. Yeah, I know, and I smashed the screen. So I had to get a new screen put in and I had to order it. Um, my la I have an ASUS laptop and they, they had to order the screen because I, I don't have a shiny screen, I have a matte screen, etc. Whatever. They had to order a screen. So I had to wait for the screen to come in and then I had to pay to get it put in. And it was not a cheap experience, but that's okay. My computer's back. I attempted to edit a video and put one up while my computer was in the shop on my son's. And it took four days to load the unedited video files. And after that, I was done. Like that, that was enough. So anyway, I digress. I went into a new like scrapbooking-esque store called Creative Haven YXE in Saskatoon. And I picked up a couple things. Um, it was a relatively small store. The lady was super nice that was there, but um, it's like I said, it's new, so I'm sure more things will come the longer they're there. But I picked up a couple things, so I picked up, well, it's Be Creative Tape, Sook Wang, whatever you want to call it, but I picked up a roll of quarter inch tape. Um, I grabbed these. These are from, I have a brush obsession, you guys. I, I, I like a ridiculous brush obsession. So these are from Prima, and they're just called their Art Basics brush. There's seven brushes in this set. I think I paid like $13 for it. But you get a one inch flat brush and a three quarter inch flat brush. And then there's a half inch, this is like an angled cut brush. And then a quarter inch flat brush. And then you get around zero, two, and four in that set. These are super long handled. Um, I'll probably use them with acrylics and things like that. But I'm going to play with them a little bit and I'll let you guys know what I think. For that price, I just figured, well, I'll give them a shot. They had a couple of their watercolor sets there, which I had glanced at. I, I would really love to get my hands on. A set of Prima watercolors, but like they were forty dollars, and I'm not paying forty dollars for Prima watercolors. I just I couldn't justify it, so I didn't get any, unfortunately. But I would love to try a set one of these days. I should just order a set eventually. Anyway, I also picked up this is pistachio alcohol ink. I knew I didn't have this color. She didn't have a lot of them left, but I figured I'd add that one to my collection. And then I also picked up the Alcohol Lift Ink, the re -inker. I have the ink pad downstairs. I got it in a Simon Says Stamp kit. So. so that's everything I picked up from there. Like I said, just a couple of things. And then I went to a couple art supply stores. So the first one I went to was called Hughes Art Supplies. Um, they didn't have anything on sale, but I did pick up a couple tubes of Daniel Smith. I posted these already on my Instagram. But I picked up Wisteria here, which is... PW6, which is pigment white 6, titanium white, and quinacridone magenta, which is, what is it, PR122. I could mix this myself, but I have stared at this color since it came out, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy it this time. And then I also picked up Lapis Lazuli Genuine, which I love. It's a super soft, light color. It doesn't get really, really dark and vivid, but I love it. I think it's super pretty. And then I went to the Art Placement Art Supply Store, and they had 25% off the entire store. They don't carry Daniel Smith, that's why I stop at Hughes all the time to see if they have any colors that I don't have. They don't carry the full range, wish they did, but that's alright. But anyway, the Art Placement had 25% off of everything on Friday, so I picked up some gum tape. Um, this is for my watercolors. It's got adhesive on the back that activates when it's wet, and I can glue my watercolor paper, like wet my watercolor paper and stretch it and glue it onto a board. I love this stuff. I was almost out, so I picked up a roll of that. Um, I also picked up Fabriano Artistico 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. I've played with their hot press lots. Um, like I have, I buy it in the big giant sheets. I use it for my colored pencil and watercolors and all sorts of things. This was a cold press. I did a paint like a card on this using one of the MFT sets, and I cannot for the life of me find this card. I don't know what I did with it. Like, it, it wasn't put onto a base yet. It was just, like, the front panel. But normally, like, I I know what I did with these things. And I'm, I'm just looking through my stamps that I had taken with me beside me here. And, like, I have no idea. I have no idea what I did with it. Like, I have the stamps that I used. 
here. But I, I don't know what I did with the painting. I may have left it at my cousin's. I'll have to talk to her. But anyway, I don't love this paper. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm going to use it again. I'll probably start one tonight using this paper just to kind of get a better feel for it. It's really bad to judge something on the first use, but I'm not loving it. Um, the block isn't adhered together very well. Like, I like to use my blocks as blocks, but, like, this one's already coming apart. Like, look. And, like, I, I have, I take this, it was like this before I took one piece off of it. So, and it's doing that all the way around. So, I'm really not happy with the way it's adhered around the edges and things, but we'll, we'll see how I feel about it. I have played with it a little more. And then, what else did I get there? Oh, and I got three tubes of watercolor. I was very well behaved, all things considered. But these are M. Graham. So I picked up per Maroon Perline, which is a beautiful, like, blood red color. I love it. I have, I played with them the last time I did this video, so I will show you guys what they look like in there. I picked up Turquoise, and I picked up Transparent Red Iron Oxide, and this color's stunning, too. I really, really love this color. So yeah, so I picked those up. That brings like my total of M. Graham paints up to like seven. I have like seven tubes of them, but I, not like I need any more paint. So I'm not whining. Anyway, so I was going to show you guys what I had done with them prior. Uh, where is it? Sorry, I'm just playing with Oh, here we go. So this is, I had just kind of splashed them all over. So this is that Maroon Perline. This is the transparent red iron oxide mixed in. This is the turquoise. And here, all that granulation stuff, that's the lapis lazuli. This is the wisteria color. So they all kind of blend together. I really like how dark and potent these ones are. But they wash out into such pretty little pretty little washes and things. And I paint some flowers over this eventually. But yeah, I was just kind of throwing the colors around. So I put those into my sketchbook here. And yeah, I think, I think they're beautiful colors. Um, I used... I have one here. This is a card uh, you guys will see coming up soon. It's not filmed, but it'll be on my YouTube channel or on my blog. This entire background here is done with this lapis lazuli color. So, like, the whole sky is all that lapis lazuli color. And I really love how it granulates and how it stretches out. And you get all that texture and things. It's kind of hard to pick up with the lighting right now. It's like, it's like 9 o'clock at night when I'm filming this, so it's all fake lighting. I'm hoping it'll be okay in the end. It is what it is. I need to get back in the swing of filming. But anyway, I really love like the texture and stuff you get in the granulation and how soft it is and everything else. So it's really, really pretty. So this one will be on my blog in the next day or two. So yeah, that's really everything, guys. I just wanted to kind of pop in and give you guys a little look at what I picked up on Black Friday. Um, a little bit of art supply shopping, all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah. So that's it for today, and I will see you guys very, very soon. I have a few process videos and things filmed. I just need to get them onto the computer and edit them and voice them over and all that fun stuff. But I figured this was a really good way to ease into it. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you subscribe and come back to see what kind of cards and things I can create. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel, I'm sorry I've been away, and I hope you guys will stick around. I really appreciate all of you, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.